Xana is down there. She decided she didn't want to be in frame this time, so... I just, I didn't realise how much I'd be in frame last <laughs> night. <laughs> this is about roots, or my lack thereof. It's a quick debrief for... I mean, it's gotten to the point now that it's been far enough away from my time in China that some people won't actually know that I used to live there. I was born in Melbourne, and while I was there, I moved schools once, and moved back to my old school again, and then went to high school... So I moved schools a lot. When I turned 13, my dad got a job in China, so the whole family moved off to Nanjing in China. So I was there for five years, and then five days after I turned 18, I packed my bags and moved alone to London, England, where I stayed for three and a half months. And then I was living in Melbourne or rural Victoria for four months while I figured out what I was gonna do for uni. And then I moved to Sydney, Australia, in February of this year, 2017. So. I've moved around a lot, if you couldn't tell already. I don't have roots at all. My family are scattered across the world. My immediate family are still in China. I live alone. I've got family everywhere, which is great, but it also means that you don't have a central location where everyone is. My friends are all over the world, which again, is lovely, but it's hard when you have grown up with certain people or you know certain people and no one is in a definitive location. I just don't have roots. I don't have a town that I grew up in and stayed there till I moved out. That is brilliant, but it also scares me because I really like routine. There are moments where I'm just at home or I'm with Tim cooking somewhere and it's just the idea of the simple things which in the last decade, of chaos are really nice. Whether that'll wear off or not, I have no idea. But for, for right now, I crave having roots that I can I can live off of and create like bonds off of that'll last me forever. 2018, so next year, will be the first year in the last seven to eight years that I will be in one place. Nothing's planned. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not moving. No one I know is moving. It is just static and that is both scaring me and making me very excited at the same time because for the first time in such a long time I get to just live and experience it all in one go without worrying about what's going to happen next. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I have a deep-seated fear that the drop of a hat something could change everything would come crumbling down around me and that is terrifying. I go to China on Monday for seven weeks for Christmas and New Year's to see the family, which is going to be lovely. But my brain has immediately thought that I'm never coming back to Sydney. And I think that's purely because I used to move around a lot and say goodbye a lot. And I think it's, I'm slowly trying to rewire my brain to understand that not everything is going to end. In the same vein of things, I've noticed that over the last year of making friends here, I have given a lot of myself immediately, which is what I used to do because I knew that we didn't have a finite amount of time together. I gave so much of myself to everyone. Tim pulled me up on it very recently. He said, I was trying to cram an entire relationship into one day or one week or a month or a year. I need to stop doing that and understand that I can take my time now. I can let myself discover new things about other people. People can discover new things about me. It's It doesn't have to be rushed anymore and that is, really lovely. I must stress that not having roots is not a bad thing. I do not regret a single thing from my childhood. In fact, I would not change it for the world. I think it was one of the most incredible ways to grow up. I just think that it's definitely made my perception of friends and family and loved ones and relationships very different and I'm having to learn how to do that the normal way. I can just enjoy the day-to-day -day life and enjoy university and enjoy my relationship and my friendships and for the first time in a long time I think that I'm finally gonna have roots and I can't wait to see what happens from there. That's the end of that video. I am gonna quickly say the next video I'm gonna make is hopefully gonna be a Q&A so if you have any questions please put them in the comments below. I'm <laughs> that was a desperation. <laughs> please. <your> please. Please. <laughs> please. I'm so worried I've got no questions. Comment down below if you've got any questions. Please, Anna. Look, I can, I'm going to do it again. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>